news on this cannon lit DJ Fish food. Powering ahead, a feeding frenzy awaits in the zone. Oh, right now, a full rotation and a pop-up recovery. Yeah, take another look. He uses the force of the cannon blast to propel himself all the way around and land feet first in great position. And with all the wipeouts about equal, time made up or lost in the water makes all the difference. At the shredder, Alec, all even with our leader, Malik. Oh, yeah. Quick wipeout, but even quicker in the water. Bounced early before he got set. Yeah, just no good. DJ Fish Food very comfortable in the water, as we saw this morning. He is pulled away to a 30-second advantage as he starts circling Hell's Carousel. Yo, well, that didn't last long. And off he goes, swimming like he wants cash. He could not run the carousel sweepers, but Alex may be better off in the water, John. Putting the fish in fish food. Final obstacle with just a minute and a half gone by. Malik's starting to look nervous, and I don't blame him. No, he should. At this point, Alec could draw a picture of how to solve this thing. Oh, wet again, and again, swimming like there is a shark on his tail. How do you let that one get him? Just enough contact from that upper gear to throw him off balance, but DJ Fishboot is not letting that slow him down. Yeah, spectacular. About to step into first place. There you have it. The clock stopping at 1.59. And there is only one competitor left to best his time, and that happens to be Alex Gross. The mulleted menace finished him here 11 seconds behind DJ Fishfoot on the qualifier. He beat him in the space race, coming in third with a very good show. And handled DJ and everybody else in the last round. Jill? Alex has been a major contender all day. Let's see if he has what it takes for his biggest challenge yet. Woo! Alex getting loaded into the cannon now. DJ Fish Food getting settled with Jill. His time to beat a brisk one minute, 59 seconds. Alex, a big tour ahead and not much time to do it. Airborne and head first and immediately headed toward the ramp. Yeah, I think he was trying to dive, but over rotated and landed awkward. Be nice to get a clean run through the shredder to start here. Basically, even with the lead now. Let's see if he can be the first one to figure this out tonight. Trying to catch his balance, needs to make a move. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe not that move. Mulleted Menace, rinse, doesn't have to repeat, swims off. You don't have long in the shredder to figure out a game plan before you end up bouncing around like loose change in the dryer. Quick first swim, keeping things close with DJ Fish Shoot. Alex chasing an insanely fast lead time. On to Hell's Carousel now, and he is not wasting any time. Down he goes. Oh, this is a tough recovery spot. He needs to get up and run, but those sweepers just keep coming to drop a 10-ton hammer on him. Oh! oh. Speed so important in the zone. There is no good place to stop and no time to think things through. With just 15 seconds left on the clock, Johnny, his only chance to win a perfect Gears of Fear run. Burned up a lot of time on the carousel. Less than 10 to go. Here comes the deciding jump. Uh, no, sir. Oh, wow. It was an impressive run from Alex. He came within a leap of winning, but just wasn't able to make that critical leap. And he now swims for recreation, not competition. You know what that horn means. Yeah! Yeah! Alex, you won! Woo! You won Wipeout! You're moving on, buddy. You're moving on to the Tournament of Champions. You're coming back. You want to come back? Oh, heck yeah, I want to come back. Awesome. Let's do it. Let's do it.